Okay, welcome to a Python lesson on how to build a game. So what game are we going to build? We're going to build a very easy game to uh, program just to learn a little bit about some of the things that we can do in Python. Now there's a famous game, it's one of the early games from um, that were ever made on a computer and it is Pong. So it's like a table tennis game and you end, we have these bats. So you've got a bat on the left or a paddle and a paddle on the right and you've got a little ball which is just a square and it goes around the screen and we've got some points up at the top. So this is what we're going to start building today. Um, we start off in our code for, our, for Python. So you need to have Python open and we will start with just some comments and just have this as the Pong game, the name. And you can then put the, the date when you started this. And you can then put your name. So this will be quite a fun exercise to do. Now, hopefully you've got some experience with Python already. Um, if not, I would advise to go through some other lessons before starting something like this. Now, we've you've probably done if you, hopefully you've done some graphics, uh, maybe to kinter graphics. So what we're going to look at with this is something called turtle graphics. Now, with turtle graphics, turtle um, graphics were originally done using something called logo. So if I do turtle graphics, you can actually do turtle graphics um, with Scratch. So if you've had any experience of Scratch, you can do it there. So turtle graphics is this kind of stuff here, as you can see, um, and you can draw all these different shapes. Now, <clears throat> what turtle graphics allows you to do is essentially draw lines, you can draw squares, you can draw circles, and you can draw all sorts of these, like these fancy ones, as you can see. Okay, now we can use turtle graphics in Python just like we can in Scratch. Um, so what we need to do is just import the module which is called turtle. Okay, now what's nice about this module is that it comes built in so you don't have to download or you don't have to install any of the module. Now what we'll do is We'll just create a window like we did before. Hopefully you've done this before in tkinter. But instead of tk, so in tkinter you would do tk like this. Instead, what we have to do is screen. Right, so this comes from this turtle module. Now, because I've done import like this, so I haven't done from turtle import everything, I'm going to have to write the name of the module beforehand. So this will... This is probably a good idea for the moment because you can then see that this comes from screen, comes from turtle. Now, comes from the turtle module. Now, you notice that's capitalized on screen, so you need to be careful that you make sure you do that. Right, so once we've created, uh, this is a window that we're going to create. We will do win dot uh, title. Now, this is exactly the same as tkinter, so I'm just going to put pong. You can put table tennis if you want. And then I'm going to do win.vz color. Color spelt the American way. And we can actually, instead of using things like hexadecimal color codes, I'm sure you can probably use those as well, but you can actually just write the word black. Okay, now you probably can, you can do the same with uh, tkinter as well, but sometimes you want a specific color, so you may want to change it in the future. And then we will do the um, the geometry. Now in tkinter, it's called geometry. In turtle, uh, the turtle module, it's setup. So you do setup, and then you say width equals, and we'll do something like eight hundred, and the height equals 600. So you can change this if you want at a later date if you think that's not an appropriate one to do, but just leave it for the moment. Now, we're going to do something called 
tracer now this tracer what it does is make sure that the window doesn't refresh and that we refresh the window ourselves okay so this specific command of tracer does that so tracer equals zero so what happens is whenever you run your program uh, the window refreshes all the time okay so we're just going to leave it so it's not refreshed automatically and we will do the update because what we want to do is put a whole lot of stuff that updates every time the ball moves or the paddle moves and things like that so we want to control the movement okay so we will just then do a main loop for this so I'm just going to put in comment so say main loop for game and in here we're just going to do a loop called a while loop and we'll just say while true and you do win dot update okay so that's the first little bit um, here we can then, if you want, just put in a comment saying modules and here we'll put in a comment saying window settings, okay? So it is interesting seeing that you can use different modules to do graphics. There is, I'm sure, other ones that you could do. The, one of the well-known ones, is, of course, is Tkinter but we can do this to do games. Um, there is another module called Pygame, which um, you do need to install the module before you can use it. So we're not gonna do that at the moment. Okay, so what we will do is just run this just to see if you get um, the window. So I'm gonna put it on my desktop here. I'm just gonna call it Pong. So once I've saved it, it'll open up the window, right? So there you go. I've got a black window as I specified here. Um, you can change this, of course, if you want. We could actually try hexadecimal color codes. I wonder if that will work. We'll just try one here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. It might actually prefer a different color code scheme, but you can see it works anyway. So you can do just the word black or you can do that. Okay. Now, when we, what we want to do now is maybe create something like a paddle, right? So the paddle, we're going to do it here. Leave this bit at the bottom. Okay. So this is the bit that updates. And what we'll do is we will just create one paddle for this lesson. So paddle one, or you could say paddle left, let's say. So under here, what we do is we get, we make a variable, right? So um, we'll say paddle L, and that'll be a turtle dot turtle okay so what we're doing here is we're using the module again right so the name of the module and we're getting the turtle that's going to then draw a paddle for us so what we then need to do is take this variable name and just use it several times so we're going to do paddle and we'll say we'll put the speed at zero you might want to change it later possibly and um, we'll do paddle l dot shape and there's some built-in shapes that we can use in with turtle graphics so there is actually a square so if you do in quotes the string square you should be able to get a square come up and then you can give it a name so paddle l dot um I'm sorry, color. Notice color as well, spelt the American way, right? And the color you can use hexadecimal color codes, or I'm going to just write white for the moment, but you could then see that I can do this and do one, two, three, four, five, six. 
So I can do that with a hash symbol. Um, and if you want to then change the colors later on, you can do so. Right, so the next thing we want to do is then say paddle.pen up. Now, those of you that have done turtle graphics will be familiar with this. So I pen up. Um, what do you got what you gotta think about with turtle graphics is and th this is used in primary. Um, there is a floor turtle. So let's have a look. There you go. So this floor turtle, I used this whenever I was in primary. And here, if you can see this image, there is a hole there where you can put a pen and then you can put all these commands and then what it will do is draw a shape on a piece of paper. So obviously you want the, the pen up and the pen down and so on. So if you don't want to draw, so it's by default, it's coming in as pen down and I'm just telling the pen to go up. And then the next thing I want to do is tell the paddle to be in a specific position. So I'm gonna say go to, now what I wanna do is look at the width and the height. So the width for the 800, now with two counter graphics, you imagine the window it starts off from, from up here. So it's X, Y from the top and X from the left. So zero was on the left and Y was there. In turtle graphics, it's actually in the center of your window. So if we think 800, so you've got 400 on one side, you've got 400 on the other side. I don't want it to be right on this edge. So what I'm gonna do is put it at maybe um, minus 350. And then the y-axis is just gonna be zero as in the center. So y will be up and down like this, x is left and right, so minus 350 will be up over here. Um, that's how it works. Okay, so if I uh, run this, have a look and check it out. Okay, so there we go. And you can see there is where my paddle is. Now, of course, the paddle um, is a square at the minute. So if you can see that the square is roughly, I think by default, something like 20 by 20 pixels. Now there is a method that we can use to change the shape of this, this square. So in here we will do paddle dot shape size and you can see we've got the options here so we've got stretch width and stretch length and then we've got outline as well so we've got a few options that we can do so we'll do stretch underscore width and then we'll do stretch length as well so we'll do stretch Stretch width was well, just width. Stretch width equals five and stretch length. Length will do something like one. Okay, so the width of five, right? Let's have a look at that. There you go. And we got a paddle. So the next thing you'd want to do is do paddle B. So paddle B, as you can imagine, it's going to be the same code as this. Sorry, paddle right, paddle B, paddle A, paddle B, whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to say paddle right. And just change this every time to R. So I'm just going to go down this. Make sure they're all R. And the only thing I actually need to change in any of this code right now is the position here. So I'm just gonna do 350 instead of zero, or sorry, minus 350. So I end up with two paddles. Brilliant. So that's that bit. Um, the last bit we can put on today would be to maybe look at doing the, the 
a ball or something like that that goes in the middle. So the ball would just be a square like we'd already done before with the paddle. So we've got paddle right, paddle left, paddle right. And uh, don't worry about any of this when you close it. <clears throat> and what we will do is the ball, right? So, so we're going to give it a variable name, call it ball, and that's going to be the same as before, turtle dot turtle. So this is the command to get the turtle to do something. We'll get the ball speed to be zero again. Just like we were doing for the paddles. And we'll do the ball dot shape. Ball dot shape and we'll say that's going to be a square as well. And then we can do the color as before. I'm just going to take that one. I'm going to want it to be white anyway. And the next thing I want to do is, what did I do before? So it, it changes shape, size, color, pen up. So ball dot pen up. And then I want to just say for it to go to zero, zero. So ball dot go to zero. 0, x0, zero, y0. Zero. Right, so if I run the program, there you go. Right, so we've got our ball centered onto the screen just like that. So you can see the code that we've done today. There it is, all there. That's all of it. And there is the result. So we've already got most of the game in terms of the window and so on sort of set up because obviously this is quite a simple little game and next lesson we'll start looking at doing some of the other features maybe we will put up um, a scoreboard at the top we'll get that sorted and then we will start programming the actual ball move around the screen and then get some user input which would be the user input for the paddles to be able to get the paddle going up and down